Hi guys, Adam with Crown Automotive here. Today, I'll show you guys how to calibrate a fuel tank setting unit. We're choosing to use one out of a CJ model. I've got the whole kit pulled just because I want to show you. It's a good idea to change the filter, the O-ring, and the lock ring just because of simple wear. So to start this, very simple. We're going to start with our sending unit laying on a bench and just a simple ohm meter that you can get at a local hardware store. Now, let's show you how to do it. To start off, we're going to use the terminal for the sending unit wire and the ground wire. How this is going to operate is as the float goes up and down, the ohm readings are going to change. You can adjust this by simply bending these tabs in or out to get your desired ohm reading. We know this particular sending unit is 73 empty and 10 full, so we want to get as close to that as possible. Keeping an eye on the ohm meter, we can see that we're getting close to 73. That should be close enough that it won't affect the reading hardly at all. Moving up to full, we know we need to be somewhere around 10 ohms. You can see we're at 10.6. So this one's perfect right out of the box. Now you can go ahead and install it in your tank. To simulate how to adjust this, we went ahead and bended our tabs in so we can show you what it would look like in the instance that it is way out of adjustment. You can see here where it empty, which is 45. Swinging it up to full, we're reading around 14 ohms. Now this isn't gonna read right in the tank. So to adjust these, we're simply going to just go down and slightly bend the tabs a little at a time. Now this may take a few times to get it right. That should be close enough there. Now that our sending unit is calibrated, you can go ahead and put it in the gas tank. For all our other sending unit options for Dodge, Chrysler, Jeep, and Fiat, be sure to check out crownautomotive.net.